is finally starting to rise. No longer willing to put up with all that compromise.
ourselves in the mirror Let's make sure it's for a cause that's greater There's no point to lose our soul in the fight Not a chance we'll have regrets in hindsight To be clinging Cause nothing is worth getting at the cause of your number When life's frozen each of us has an arrow spot The world has been more than a time to rough Time to shed the handcuffs Necessary for one people 
to dissolve the political bands which have connected them with another, and to assume among the powers of the earth the separate and equal station to which the laws of nature and of nature's God entitle them, a decent respect to the opinions of mankind requires that they should declare the causes which impel them to the separation. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal, that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, that to secure these rights, governments are instituted among men, deriving their just powers from the consent of the governed, that whenever any form of government becomes destructive of these ends, it is the right of the people to alter or to abolish it and to institute new government, laying its foundation on such principles and organizing its powers in such form as to them shall seem most likely to affect their safety and happiness. Prudence indeed will dictate that governments long established should not be changed for light and transient causes, and accordingly all experience hath shown that mankind are more disposed to suffer while evils are sufferable than to right themselves by abolishing the forms to which they are accustomed. But when a long train of abuses and usurpations, pursuing invariably the same object, evinces a design to reduce them under absolute despotism, it is their right, it is their duty, to throw off such government and to provide new gods for their future security. Such has been the patient sufferance of these colonies. Such is now the necessity which constrains them to all them, their former systems of government. The history of the present king of Great Britain 